The Rock and Review is on the road here in Addiction Studios with an artist that you obviously know, singer, songwriter, author. You do so many things. Jonathan Kane from the hip band Journey. But, you know, Jonathan, you got a lot of other things going on now. I sure do. Um, you know, been in the ministry now right? Uh, with Paula. And uh, we're, uh, we're having so much fun with it. And we're sharing our love story. Um, you know, not only for each other, for the Lord. Right. And, uh, you know, love winning souls and um, just did a couple of big events, um, you know, in Texas. And we were in Illinois last, uh, this week, actually, um, did an amazing thing at Munster, Indiana. Wow. For Pastor uh, Steve Muncy, who's an incredible uh, uh, personality, you know, in the church world. And you've got a brand new Christian album that mm -hmm. came out, mm -hmm. More Like Jesus. More and like I'll Jesus. tell you what, uh, what an incredible album mm -hmm. to be uh, hitting the ground with, you know, Thank in you. between touring with Journey. I saw you last year mm. when uh, you guys were here in Nashville, and that was a great tour. Well, I was actually writing the album while I was on the road. A lot, really? of, a lot of the songs. Now, More Like Jesus was, was the end of uh, what God wants to hear, except right. it didn't fit on the album because it was so bold. You know? Yeah. And you know, more like, uh, what God wants to hear was this innocent sort of uh, platform you know, to God uh, offering up music. And More Like Jesus became like the cornerstone for this album, which you know, I think the theme of this album is we are victorious in Christ. Right. You know, and it really is. Uh, there's warfare uh, songs on it, you know, after learning about the enemy. You know, right. Being a Catholic boy and, <laughs> and learning about the enemy and, and realizing the need for prayer and, and covering, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I just wanted to write a really victorious song. So if you're battling something and you're in the middle of a battle, this, this album's for you because you already are victorious. Well, you know, and, and your voice sounds so amazing on it too, Jonathan. It's so strong. And, and I was telling you earlier before we started doing the interview, you know, I found so many songs on there that are really, that touched me mm. that, that were so strong. Well, you, you know, know I, I, I believe that God is, has been, the Holy Spirit has been my most prolific writer. I've ever, I can, I can tell you I've written some great, you know, songwriters, but he is faithful and, you know, he's been prolific and he constantly is, you know, challenging me. To look, even the song "More Like Jesus," you know, right. just he challenged me with that. What have you got for me? And he gave me the title, and I I didn't realize his other songs. I didn't go looking online, and and then I found well, there, there's like several more like Jesus's, but not coming from my angle. And and what God was saying to me was like, um, you know, we need more of what Jesus brought, you know, right. in, in in forgiveness and and you know, transparency and and kindness and tolerance. You know, Jesus was so, and, and the one thing I loved about what was, you know, don't worry, be happy. That was Jesus' message. You know, he, right. how many times does he say, be not anxious, you know, mm -hmm. don't be anxious. And, and we live in an anxious world. Well, you know, and it also speaks to, you know, with all the hit songs that you've written and, and been on with Journey and everything, that now you're changing that focus mm -hmm. and doing these songs and your new book that came out last yeah. year. Don't stop believing. This was a, a 10 year uh, journey, actually, I, I, and I almost gave up on it. And, you know, I got a voice in my head saying, don't give up, John, just call this guy and he might open a door for you. And I did. And, you know, a month later, he gives me a call and says, I think we have a deal. And I'm like, because the deal kind of went south. I had it uh, uh, with another publisher and they, mm -hmm. they weren't going to give me anything. And, and everybody's like, my lawyer's like, Duh. you know, they're not. And, and, you know, really when Harper Collins Zondervan people came through for, for me in this book in so many ways, that's one of the greatest uh, experiences I've had working with the Zondervan folks and Tom Dean over there. Um, thank you, thank you uh, for this, you know, and, and this really helps establish, uh, I think, my platform for, for my faith and, and my walk with Christ. And, and, you know, it is a song about, I mean, it's a book about encouragement, you know, right. and, and inspiration. And uh, that's kind of been my my MO these days. Well, you know, what's always stuck with me too, and you've got such an incredible story here, and obviously, you know, from when we've talked before about, you know, your your grandfather's fiddle and mm. things like that, and, and the horrible accident, uh, you know, at the, the tragedy, church. Yeah. yeah, the tragedy. Mm. But also, I, it's, it's one of victory, and, and I'll never forget when we were talking the time, and you told me, you know, when you were out in LA, and you were about to throw in the towel on, on music and rock and roll, and your dad said, don't stop believing. That's it, and I, how I wrote it down in the back of a book and kept it with me, like, for five years until I got to San Francisco and there was one more song they needed for the album. And, you know, I had this lyric book and I was pulling a rabbit out of my hat with different titles and lyrics. And Steve saw the book, you know, he saw me, what is that book? I said, my magic book. And he goes, <laughs> so he looked at me one night and he said, go see if there's anything else in the magic book, you know? Oh my God. So I went in the back and there it was, you know, don't stop believing. I had doodled over it 
hundred times, and, and I was like, well, he would sing that. Holy Spirit, give me a melody, you know, and that night I just, I, you know, I channeled in something that he gave me, and I brought it in and trusted the rest of the band to do the rest, and yeah. they did. From your father's words. From my father's words. You know, and I have to bring up, too, the, the last time. And he we got, got to hear the song. Which is incredible. He yeah, came to see you in concert. In Chicago, yeah. Well, you know, and, uh, you know, in 2017, you became a part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh my gosh, yeah. That was so About great. About time, right? And I got to give the Lord thanks, you know. Yeah. I think I was the only one that night that, that thanked the Lord for everything. Um, that's one thing about, you know, looking in the lens of my life now, of being, you know, sort of walking in the in the path of Christ, is is that I realized the gra how covered in grace I was, you right. know, and and the fire uh, almost put a hedge around me in a Holy Spirit fire. Um, I think all of us were were covered in grace that day, uh, even though this tragedy, you know, has shattered us. We were forged with something new, mm -hmm. you know. So the Bible says, out of pain, something new is born. Right. And I think, you know, music and my father prophetically, you know, said, John, you're saved for music. Right. And music will be your ministry. And you've been back to that church and it's been rebuilt. And they, re you know, God showed the evidence, the remnant of grace, they rebuilt Our Lady of the Angels Church with a two and a half million dollar makeover. Wow. The Franciscan brothers just, you know, found it. It was a diamond in the rough, this terrible rough neighborhood. And now they're, it's a mission where they're feeding and helping people. And it is really... Um, I wept. I mean, I just, wow. I could, I, I got to take communion and probably sat where I was in my, you know, when I was seven. <laughs> and um, I just thank the Lord for, you know, for the evidence. You know. Just incredible. And mm -hmm. I wanted to bring up too that, uh, you know, with your book, you also had an album that came out with it. And you told me there's an audio book and you're playing the music underneath the audio book. Yeah, the audio book. <laughs> and don't stop believing. If you've already read the book, you haven't got, you got halfway through it because the music on the audio book is, is really, um, I think it really supports the story, and they let me read it here. Wow. I, I spent about five days reading my own story, <laughs> and um, it was really an honor to have Xander Von, uh, you know, allow me to do it. But I, but I also did some, you know, some songs that were crossroads in my life that I had written back in the '90s. No idea why. I just wanted to define who I was with certain, you know, things that happened in my life: my birth of my daughter, you know, the fire, um, all the things that. I felt were, even my dog, you know, like my German Shepherd was such a big part of, you know, getting through and to journey, you know, right. and, and when he passed on, I, I wrote a song about him called Man's Best Friend. Totally. And uh, I, I met Tony La Russa through, because he had an animal relief foundation. Yeah. And so we became buddies. All these songs have just been sitting there and the, and the album was out of print. So we just simply resurrected a lot of the things. and. Uh, you know, remastered them, and then also um, I wrote a song about writing the book. Of course, I did. Right. Called the well, song. You know, and I remember the when we songs talked you last leave time. behind. And you know? just weren't sure about it at the time. It's like I don't know where this is going. I'm working on it. Right. And then here we are, mm. all this time later. Now I have to bring up. I know you've been going out and doing some speaking engagements and all this, but there's something new and exciting going on with you and Paula with a TV show. I understand. Yeah, um, I was asked to um, to take to partake in a you know in a couples kind of thing, and we. we we're trying to brainstorm for a title, yeah. and it was Faithfully. And uh, years ago, I did a duet with this uh, singer from Nashville, Michael Roberts. Um, and so I said, I have this version of Faithfully I think that really might be great. And we, I played it for the director and, and his wife, and they went, yeah, it's perfect. So that's our little lifestyle show. Yeah. You know, I get to cook on the show. We're doing a little cooking segment. Um, you know, we talk about uh, relationships and, of course, you know, we go into different topics of scripture, and I get to, I have to study and. Well, and you're the historical guy. You know, you used to be on stage when I saw you last year in concert. You controlled the stage there at Bridgestone, but now you're kind of in Paula's shoes. Yeah. And she's the one that's used to doing TV and everything. Well, it's it's a trip because she's so good, you know, and you know I have to be on my toes, you know, right. when I'm with her, and you know she uh, she is so inspiring for me. I mean, I I watched her preach for several years and, and it just opened my transparency up so much when I saw her tell her story and I saw the way that people reacted. You know, she went through a tragedy, lost her father to suicide and, you know, early uh, pregnancy, was a single mom. I mean, went through some really rough times. Her family disowned her. Um, we had so much in common with, with that part, you know, and, and now our love for God and uh, she's really, really brought me back full circle. It's incredible. Yeah. Now, where can our viewers uh, see the show also this area? Um, you know, that's a good question. I think it's uh, called Paula Today, and faithfully, of course, if you go to Paula White Ministries, mm -hmm. all the information is on there. We're, um, 
We're, we're start, I know we, we're on a station in Atlanta. I think we're, we might be on the Prey station. I'm not sure all Picking the Picking up more stations then all the time. We, we are. We, we're kind of, we just um, created a studio at the church, um, beautiful set that, um, you know, really looks great. And, and, and so we decided, she decided to really go back into just her own ministry. And then her son now, Brad Knight, I saw is that. preaching up the storm. And How amazing. He has got such a fresh word. Um, it's just like you with your kids doing all the music. Yeah. No, it, uh, he, is, <laughs> he is a theologian. He's a teacher. Uh, he's an encourager. Um, his wife is a prayer warrior. Wow. And they're a dynamic duo. I think they're going to be really something in the kingdom. Well, now, is Journey going to be going back on tour later this year, we, too? Well, actually, we have an interesting year. We're sort of taking our chill year, and um, we're going to be in Vegas at Caesars Palace in October. Wow. And then we have a few gigs in, in Atlantic City. So is that like a residency? Yeah. Look at that. First time, you know, because the Hard Rock closed down. Mm -hmm. It's no longer. So Caesars called us and said, you know, Aerosmith play here. You guys are... So, you know, it's a great room. That's an incredible room. And bigger, you know, it's got the good sound to it. Oh, so we're yes. really looking forward to that. And then 2020, we go out with uh, Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Be sure and, and go to Jonathan Cain's And she's incredible, website. by the way. Oh, she's always incredible. She still and sounds she, great. And she plays Vegas a lot, too. Oh, yeah. And be sure and get the new album, uh, More Like Jesus, is out. The book just came out last year, Don't Stop Believing. Jonathan Kane, you got so much stuff going on. We have a disc too. We have, you know, if you go to my website, uh, Jonathan Kane Music, um, we have a, a sign. I can sign disc, but we actually have a physical CD. You know, Excellent. some people like with all the lyrics in it. Yeah, that's what and, I like. And um, you know, so I should have that with me, but because uh, uh, a lot of people like just download stuff. I was happy we made Spotify. We made the uh, the contemporary Christian list, wow. you know, which is a kind of an honor to, to, to be on the the loop, you know. Well, you know, besides all the gold, you know, platinum, diamond records you've had, it's just it's a, it's another addition, right? Yeah, and I, it keeps me fresh when I go back to Journey. You know, when I'm getting ready to write with Neil again, we're going to start writing uh, for another album. Uh, I just get restored. Yeah. You know, uh, you can't help it when when you're worshiping you know, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, you can't help but getting restored. And, and you know, I believe that every significant uh, event has a significant sound. I right? agree. And, and God rides on the waves of sound, amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what, what we're doing is pleasing Him, you know, and, and, and that's what I love so much is I know that He's pleased with what I'm doing. I'm, I'm leading praise and worship at our church now in, in Orlando, so come see us. I'll be singing on Sunday with, yeah. the, with the praise team. And, and you started out on the cruise, and now you're leading it. And now I'm leading. <laughs> you know, so it's really, and, and I have a, an elder in the church now that's been um, saying, you know, you need to drop a prophetic word on him, you know, and I'm like, oh, no, i got to be a prophet. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. No pressure, no pressure. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, be sure and, and check out the new music, More Like Jesus. The album's out or the singles. I suggest you get the whole album. Go to his website. Also, the book that came out last year, Selling Incredible. There's music with this as well. Don't Stop Believing. More Journey music and, of course, the TV show with the one and only Jonathan Cain. Thanks for watching The Rock Interview.